Just sit right back and you'll hear a tale, a tale of a fateful trip that started from this tropic port aboard this tiny ship. The mate was a mighty sailing man, the skipper brave and sure. Five passengers set sail that day for a three-hour tour, a three-hour tour. The weather started getting rough, the tiny ship was tossed. If not for the courage of the fearless crew, the middle would be lost, the middle would be lost. The ship's aground on the shore of this uncharted desert isle, with Gilligan, the skipper too. The millionaire and his wife, the movie star, and the rest are here on Gilligan's Eye. Hi, Skipper. What are you doing, Gilligan? Uh, Mr. Howells teaching me how to play golf and even gave me this club to use. And I gave you this hammer to use. Oh, I just took a little time out to practice my driving. Well, if you'd like to practice your driving, Gilligan, start on those nails! <laughs> I want that watchtower finished by tonight. Well, why the big rush? Just because you dream a ship was going to go by the island? Don't forget, Gilligan, this is the third night in a row I've had that dream. Oh, come on, Skipper, you don't believe in dreams. And once more, this is the third day of the week of the third month. With all those threes coming up, are you going to tell me that I'm wrong? No, sir, I'm not going to tell you you're wrong, because you're three times bigger than I am. Okay, then, get to work. Now, really, Gilligan, when I have these dreams, they always come true. Well, not always, Skipper. How about the time you dreamed I was going to hit you in the jaw? Well? I wouldn't do a thing like that. That'd be mutiny. Yeah. And not only that, it'd be suicide. I forgot about that one. <laughs> you, you see, Skipper, there's nothing in all those dreams. Here, watch my practice swing and tell me what I'm doing wrong. Hmm. All right, Gilligan. Head down, left arm stiff, and eye on the ball. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is that you, Skipper? Uh-huh. Where'd I hit you? Right in the jaw. <laughs> just like you dreamed, huh? Yep, just like I dreamed. Well, I better get back to work. That ship could be coming by any minute. <laughs> I hear you had dinner with the Howells last night. Yes, yeah, a catered chuck wagon affair. All you could eat for $12 million. <laughs> All you could eat for $12 million. <laughs> That's a pretty funny one, isn't it, Skipper? <laughs> <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> oh, goodness. It's time for the 12 o'clock stock market report. <laughs> and rails held steady at the close. Of course, the street is still talking about the latest news out of Dust Bowl, Oklahoma. What news? Further investigation by the Howell Corporation has revealed the true source of the gusher. Their drill had punctured the tank of an oil truck which had been buried during one of the frequent dust storms in that area. The Hachapuku oil and mining stock is worthless. Meanwhile, the search continues for the owner of this desolate wasteland. Once again, we ask, where is Thurston Howell? I'll tell you where he is. He's right down there. <laughs> Now this is a tale of our castaways, they're here for a long, long time. They'll have to make the best of things, it's an uphill climb. The first mate and his skipper too will do their very best to make the others comfortable in the tropic island nest. No phones, no lights, no motor cars, not a single luxury. Like Robinson Crusoe, it's primitive as can be. So join us here each week, my friends, you're sure to get a smile. For seven stranded castaways here on Gilligan's Isle.